YouTube, what's going on everybody? Anthony Confessori here, checking in for the first time in 2022. It is January 3rd, 10.23 p.m. Just sat down for my nightly cup of green tea um, with lemon, with lemon, because there's a lot of benefits to lemon, green tea alike. Um, you guys, if you follow me over on Instagram, you know what, you know, I uh, talk a lot about what I do daily nutritionally to really, you know, boost my immune system and do things that actually improve my health. Um, but that's a topic for another video. Um, anyway, yeah, this is my nightly routine, uh, some sort of herbal tea, usually green tea. Um, but yeah, so just waiting for this to cool off before I chug this and then go brush my teeth and get ready for bed. But <clears throat> the purpose of this video and why I wanted to make this video, well, I actually sort of kind of made a post about it a week ago, but I wanted to make an actual video on YouTube here for you guys so they could hopefully get to some more people, more ears. Um, New Year's Eve, well, not New Year's Eve, but New Year's resolutioners, right? New Year, you're going to set new goals. You're going to you know do things you've never done before. You're going to change X, Y, and Z about yourself, right? Now... One of the more common uh, New Year's resolutions is to either get into a gym, start taking your health and fitness more seriously, uh, exercise, eat better, things of that nature. Now, me, being someone who uh, you know has been training for quite a long time, many years now at this point, um, I've you know come across people and have overheard conversations throughout the years. Uh, you know, especially around this time of year in January where people are annoyed with newcomers in the gym. Um, you know, they don't know what they're doing. They're taking up, you know, whatever piece of equipment for too long, yada, 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 so on and so forth. I've heard it all. Um, and essentially, this is my message to address uh, the whole New Year's resolutioners, you know, gyms being crowded in January, the whole nine. It's no secret that we are going through a pandemic right now. Uh, not the pandemic that you might be thinking of, but the pandemic that, that I'm thinking of and the pandemic that comes to mind when I hear that word is the pandemic of obesity, the pandemic of the unhealthy, which is what America has become known for. America is one of the unhealthiest countries, obesity rates, um, you know, you name it, all that stuff is sky high. So my message to you know both sides of the spectrum right like the people who are just getting into the gym and the people that have maybe been in the gym for some time and kind of you know don't want to pay attention to the new year's resolutioners they get annoyed by them so on and so forth we need to encourage people guys we need to encourage people to be healthier and live healthier lives now i know it might be intimidating to walk into a gym um you know especially if it's something new to you uh, and the people who have been training for some time should know that because we've all been there, right? Everyone's had their first day in the gym. I've been, I've had my first day in the gym. Everyone starts at zero, essentially, right? So guys and girls, to my people who have been in the gym for, you know, a, you know, a couple of years, a few years, 10 years, whatever it might be, whatever your background is, show some support and, you know, love you could call it even to the people that are entering our domain the, the place that you know we you know look forward to every single day i know i do my workout is my favorite part of my day if i don't work out i'm not grounded i can't do anything else for my day so let's welcome them with open arms they want to be better they want to lead healthier lives instead of getting annoyed at them making you know comments you know whether it be in person or online whatever it might be let's drop all that nonsense and let's just encourage them to come to the gym, come get fit, come improve your health. Um, that way, you know, the the number of gym memberships in January is the same in July and then later in the year come, you know, December, right? Like not where it's, you know, peaked in January and February because there's so many new people and then they slowly drop off for whatever reason, right? So let's encourage them to come to the gym and stay in the gym, right? Not just, you know, oh, come come to the gym, you know, get in shape, you know, for your vacation in the spring, spring break, or for summer. No, 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 no. Come into the gym, you know, 
if you need something, let me know. You know, this is my name. This is my, you know, even if you want to, you know, not saying you don't have to give out your, you know, contact number, but, you know, I'm a friendly person. So whenever I meet someone in the gym, I'm always down to exchange information like, hey, man, you see me say what's up. If you ever need something, shoot me a text, whatever it might be. But bottom line, guys, my point is let's encourage people to come into the gym and stay into the gym and make themselves better. Now, on the flip side, my people who are just coming into the gym, right? Now, I got nothing but, but support for you guys, and I want you to stay, and I want you to create a body that you, you know, uh, feel good in and that you want to look at, you know, right? Like, I want you to feel good about yourself. So, <clears throat> here's a couple things for you guys. Realize that you're not going to move a mountain in a day, right? Something I always tell people, something I tell my clients is, you know, rather than trying to focus on the mountain... Do everything you can to move one rock or one pebble at a time every single day, right? So you've never been in the gym before, you get into the gym, you're not gonna look, you're not gonna have your ideal or dream body overnight or in a week or in a month. It takes time, it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So focus on what you can do in that 24 hours, whether it be starting to eat better, eating better food, uh, you know, being consistent, right? Like not just showing up at the gym two or three times a week, but you know, showing up you know, an adequate amount of time, you know, four or five days a week, like be committed. Don't just be, you know, don't just put your foot in, like go all in, be all in, be committed. Right. Um, and then, uh, you know, another thing that I would say is, uh, you know, encourage those around you to do the same. Right. Uh, you know, I know from personal experience that it helps to have, uh, you know, a good strong support system, whether it be, you know, something like gym, uh, you know, work, hobby, whatever it might be, get around people who, you know, want to do the same thing and enjoy the same thing because it's only going to push you to stay on top of your game and to, you know, continuously push yourself to become better, right? So, um, <clears throat> and then lastly, guys, just don't pay attention to what anyone else is doing. And when I say that, you know, if you want to take motivation from someone, that's one thing, but don't beat yourself up, um, you know, Everyone structurally is different. You're never going to look the same, the same exact way as someone else. So focus on being the best you, right? And that's kind of like my tagline for confessory conditioning, my online coaching is because everybody is different. Everybody's unique. So don't worry about being, you know, better than anybody. Worry about being the best possible you that you could be. We're all going to have strengths. We're all going to have weaknesses. Focus on what you can control and become the best version of yourself. All right, guys. So... That's my take on the New Year's resolutioners. Uh, that's really all I got to say. Uh, feel free to jump in the comments. Let me know if you agree, disagree, whatever it might be. If you want to add some of your thoughts. Um, yeah, but other than that, see if my tea is ready. Um, mm, perfect drinking temperature. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to call it a night. Um, but other than that, guys, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, I plan on doing a lot of videos this year, so please hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, if it resonated with you, please share it. Tag a friend, show a friend, whatever it might be. Um, and if you guys want to see anything specific, let me know on my uh, in the comments. All right? I'll catch you guys soon.